Welcome back to another video guys. Today we are out chasing dinosaurs. So the old big black brim you find in Gippsland. So get into it. So right here it's the last morning before we head home on a trip. So bear in mind if I sound a bit loopy at times. Sometimes on these trips when you do a lot of fishing you get a bit loopy towards the end. But anyway we started off with my comfort lure. So just using um, soft plastics, so I was using just a slim swim on this occasion, I like to alternate that and a grub um, and using that on a, I think it was around a 1 8th or a 1 12th jig head and just hopping it around the edge of the weed line so on your sounder you can usually find where that weed line is and just off that and hopping around Can't see, can't see anything. Feel like he's close. <sighs> Little brim, I think. On the plastic this morning, it's been very rainy. We've finally got a little break in the rain. Oh, he's not that little. So he's still okay. Ugh, come here. That's how they get all the things when they're still not too impatient. Ugh. Nice. There we go. We crunched it. It was good. He's still on there, on the mark from a previous trip. He's not long, long. He's not the worst. Very fat. He's doing a nice runny. See you, mate. Bloody. Bloody sure. Let's see. Little flathead. Yeah, little one. Oh, just stop. So I'm going to do some commentary here, trying to explain how I'm fishing, so that way you guys can get a little bit of info on what I'm doing. So here we're just slowly drifting down a little weed edge, a little bank, and just keeping ourselves with our pedals, not drifting too far away from where we think the fish are, and just popping in cast after cast. So after I got this flatty, Notice I keep casting, we're not moving too far. We know that I've just caught a brim and a flatty in this same area. So just keep pegging away in those slow hops. You'll even notice sometimes, actually, I think I've got a sore on my thumb in this, uh, this clip. So <laughs> that actually helps me slow down my retrieve rate. So sometimes doing little things like that, you'll notice you actually get some strikes while you're mucking around with other things. So keep that retrieve nice and slow. This is a decent brim, this one. He's not fighting hard though, it's weird. Fast asleep. 
Is it the one? Is it the one? He barely fought at all. I thought it was a flatty. It could be the one. It could be the one. He's pretty big. Jeez, he didn't fight hard. He just shook his head. He's gotta be close, surely. Is it the one we've been after, Tyler? All right. Well, you seen on that one, I've just hooked up to a very good fish. And the moment of truth, whether we have cracked it. Hopefully there was some audio on the other one. <laughs> seen his face come up like, oh no, here's a good one. Taking the piss, man! <laughs> <laughs> That's still a sick fish, though. Look at it. 44 again! <laughs> Why? What an awesome fish. He's got a bit of a deformed tail. That's what I'm blaming. I've lost the centimetre. He stopped growing down there. But a beautiful 44. What a chunk. What a fish. Real nice colours to him and everything. Alright, he was about 1.3 kilos. Just a beautiful, beautiful fish. Oh, come here. You can do it. Oh, there we go. Kick off, mate. So you've got to take your time releasing those beautiful brim. Um, that fish could have been well, it's well older than me. It'd be 30 plus years old, most likely. Um, so I like to release, well, all of our brim, but um, it's up to you if you keep a couple, but I'd suggest release some of those big ones back. So that way other people can have these, the memories anyway of catching that awesome cracker fish if we keep taking them out, less people want to keep coming fishing. Anyway, enough of that. I was continuing on here i started to alternate you'll see i switch over if you can tell what color rod i've got the blue one means i'm using hard bodies and the red one is my plastics rod so switched over to the hard bodies here as it had quietened down so i was twitching along a double clutch here Oh yeah, he's not bad at all. It's got to be a 40, surely. Not as good colours as the last one. More silvery. <laughs> Seems like there's a few that just went through. Oh, he's woken up. Been quiet for a while, that's why I switched over to the... Uh, To the double, the double triple. Oh man! Oh, I thought I had you beat, but no. Still a nice fish. T-boned it. <laughs> He's still a real good one, actually. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I'd nearly be disappointed if like this one went 45 because he doesn't look as good as, <laughs> as the other one. Not that he will. 43. Oh, what a fish. It's such good condition, man. Oh. That's a fat, fat one. My word. All right, that's the 43. It's got him de-hooked. Get him on his way on the double clutch. He's another ripping fish. Woo! Come on, stay on you little weasel. You're gonna need a new jig head, it's like slightly bent out because I just missed a hit quite like easy with you. Come here. Come to Papa. Back on the swim swimmy. It's a smally. Smally Ollie. Molly Ollie. Come in. Hey. Hey. That's not part of the deal. It's weird how they just wake up, eh? It's like, even after you hook them, they're like, oh no. And then they realize that the surface is not going to be good. Come here. Come to me. He's still not the worst, but he's not the biggest. Let's see, he did all the job. <laughs> Smally Ollie is 38. <laughs> Smally Ollie is 38. They look so much look like, so much yeah, like the size of their, like just the whole body and yeah. width and head, they just so, like seem so much smaller. But then, like, even you just compare that to, like, a 35 or something, and it's probably going to look a lot bigger. Or even a low 30s. Adios, amigos. Well, after seeing how good that 44 fought, and he did absolutely nothing, you never know what's going to come up. <laughs> nah, he's a little -y. Not a bad one. Might be 38. Nah, he will be like 36. <laughs> Something like that. He's still alright, actually. He's not bad, actually. Just after you catch a couple of big ones, you're like, no, you nothing. Yeah, there's a few out like where I am, just out there. He's actually should, he might be a 40. He's not too bad. Oi, oi. That leaking shit. Stop pooping. Oh, it's just unrequired. He's actually 41. Woo woo. I think I need a new jig head. It's looking bent. Looking bent, white. Yeah, come on! He's <laughs> a 56, I reckon! He's <laughs> <Who's> a beast! <laughs> Alright, 41er. It's nice when that's like a smallish fish for the day. He's beautiful. Go, let's go. Get out of here, mate. 
since I got your hook up on camera, I'm coming over to have a look. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at that. Another cracker. That's so good, Randy. <laughs> We're on a nice sized little patch. Oh, oh you brick. I just got a tuck, you know, the little. Son of a oh, come on! Yes! Oh. Woo! I got one on the Lua Talis and I wouldn't get one on. Finally, had like three or four hits. Finally hooked up. Ah. It's the... Oh uh, no, probably just pull out, snap off one of those stupid trebles. Snap a fish. Snap a dap a doo. Oh yeah. Maybe. Nah, he's probably only 38. Oh. He's not bad. Ah, uh, why are we going home? <laughs> I'm calling in sick. I don't feel well. I'm suffering from a brim addiction. Uh, he's not even that big, this one. He's a squeaker. 39er. Not a baddie. Get out of here. <sighs> little tack. Little, little tack. Just gets that little bit deeper. It's just... <laughs> you can't even pull the line. You're weakling. Weakling. It's a, it's a few fish coming through on the sander. Hopefully this is a brim. So I'd actually switched over to a lure. I haven't used that much in open areas, which was an OSP dunk, um, very similar to the Daiwa Spike. And the OSP one, it had real dodgy hooks on it, so I was raging at that. Um, but we did end up getting a couple of fish on it. I just wanted to experiment with some things because we were catching fish. I was catching some fish pretty easily, so I thought, why not give something else a go? And it actually caught me quite a few, so I, I had to kind of work out how to work it before I started getting hits, but um, yeah, got that, so I'll try and use that next time as well. Ah, just a side hook to bring me with. <laughs> not the worst one. Finally back on the brim. I think that'll be the last one. Oh, well, interesting. Well, we might not get another one. We're heading in, so it's just because the weather's got nice, but we've actually <laughs> got to go. So it's the best day, but we've got to head home. So. Anyway, hope you enjoy. Um, hopefully the next one, we're going to keep persistent. We really want to get a high, like a 45 pluser. But anyway, we'll keep at it. Good fishing anyway. It's a cracking brim. Hopefully the footage wasn't too bad since we had her terrible conditions and the best GoPro I have actually wasn't even working. It had glitches and errors, so I'll try to fix that up the next time. But I hope you enjoyed and uh, catch you in the next one.